Julian Chavez of UTSA. We're looking at something that you guys do hands-on for the kids when they come to summer camps here. But this is something people can do at home because the more people that do this, the better, It's right? the better, yeah. So this is a, we're making seed bombs. Uh, the seed bombs are gonna have native flower seeds and native milkweed seeds. And milkweed seeds are very important for our monarch butterfly because in milkweed it's kind of like baby food for monarch butterflies. So right. The monarch butterfly is very important because it's a pollinator. Mm -hmm. um, it's also the state insect of Texas, and we love Texas. Um, it's also, uh, the population has declined a lot in the last 10 years. So we care about the monarch butterfly here in Texas, especially because all the monarch butterflies that are migrating from Canada are gonna use Texas as a central flyway. They're gonna come through here before they go to Mexico and spend their uh, winter there. Okay. So when they're uh, flying through, we wanna make sure they have plenty of wildflowers and plenty of milkweed for them to lay their eggs on and for them to also eat. Cool. This is a clay mixture. There's gonna be clay and soil. So what you're gonna do is just grab Grab a little, grab a lot, however much you like. The balls, we wanna make them small, about this size. And what we're gonna do is just pinch off a little bit of clay, grab some seeds. And the milkweed seeds that I have in this mixture are, were either purchased through a Native American Seed Company or they were um, locally harvested. So they are native. And then we make a little ball. You can make a square, a cube, did I? <laughs> you can make a butterfly, you can make whatever shape you Aww. want to, but you wanna let them dry out. Once they dry out. How long should you let them sit? And so dry? if you let them sit for about a day or two, okay. um, they're gonna be completely dried out. If you don't, if you put these in a plastic bag and they stay wet, they're gonna start to grow. So you wanna make sure to put them in a dry area. What I do is I have some coffee filters that I was using. Just put them in here, cover them up, and let them sit for a couple days. Okay. Once they're dry, you could save them for a year or just whenever you're uh, ready to go on that road trip. Whenever you're uh, driving down the highway and you see an area that doesn't have any flowers or any milkweed, That's just cool. throw it out. And then whenever the conditions are right, they'll start to grow. There you go. Very important. Open our monarch butterflies. Yeah. That's easy. Very cool. Thank you. Very easy. No problem.